This video is about muscle structure and how the actual muscle works. So structurally, um, a whole muscle, what you would think of as a muscle if you're looking at your quadriceps or your biceps muscle, uh, is actually a bundle of muscle cells. If we're sort of coming down in size then, we've got bone attached to a tendon attached to that big muscle, say your biceps. You can see that this is made of lots of little bundles and those bundles are themselves made of bundles and what they're made of bundles of is uh, muscle cells. So this is a muscle cell. The muscle terminology tends to begin with myo or sarco. So for example, we don't call the cell membrane this plasma membrane, it's called the sarcolemma. We've got, instead of endoplasmic reticulum, we've got sarcoplasmic reticulum. Each muscle cell, you can see, is also made of little bundles of uh, units called myofibrils. And a myofibril is actually the functional unit of a muscle. It contains two sorts of filaments, thick filaments which are made of myosin and thin filaments which are made of actin. These uh, myofibrils look stripy just because of the arrangement of actin and myosin inside them. So if we look at the arrangement of um, actin and myosin inside one of these um, myofibrils, myofibrils are very long and they're divided uh, into what we call a functional unit called a sarcomere. Again, we've got that word sarco meaning muscle. A sarcomere runs between a Z line and a Z line, and these are the uh, structures that the actin filaments, the thin filaments, are attached to. You need to know the sort of overall structure, what goes where, and the names of all of these bands and lines. So we've got two lines in our sarcomere. We've got the Z lines at each end, and right down the centre we've got a line called the M line. The M line is where the myosin filaments are attached, these thicker filaments. The entire length of the myosin filaments are called the A band, and that's a fixed length of band. The myosin filaments don't change in length, in fact the actin filaments don't change in length either. So these filament lengths are fixed, but their relationship to each other is not. Where we only have myosin, that's called the H band, and where we've only got actin, straddling that Z line, we've got the I band. So the I band actually stretches into the next sarcomere. The overall principle of muscle contraction then is that these actin filaments are going to slide in between the myosin filaments and reduce the distance between the two Z lines. So the A band won't change length. The H band will get shorter as there becomes more overlap and less regions where there's just myosin. And the I bands are going to get shorter as more of the actin is overlapping with the myosin. Um, if we cut sort of down and looked on these filaments end on. Where we've got actin only we would only see thin filaments and we'd see them end on so they'd look like little dots. Where we've got myosin we would only see the thick filaments and they would look like bigger dots. And where they overlap we'd see a combination of both of those things. So that's the sort of structural stuff that you really have to know. And then we can look at how muscle actually works, how those filaments actually do slide in between each other.